down. 200. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, crew nine back on Earth. Good main release. Copy splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Hills all around back on Earth. I'm splash down. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility. Hills all around, back on Earth. I'm splashed down. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Down, crew nine back on Earth. King of and, and there we do see crew nine, some happy waves, smiles all around back on Earth. I'm splashed down. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, crew nine back on Earth. Good main release. Copy splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Coming home to Earth. And that view is from the WB-57, which is one of NASA's high altitude planes that is tracking. Um, now, because of the way that this uh, visuals of splashdown. We'll start to hear Commander Nick Haig. Copy, 1000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Haig will be calling out. are still residing in uh, and or around the Draco thruster nozzles or, or outlets. Uh, the hypergolic fuel, which is necessary for on-orbit uh, on orbit burns to con when it returns to Earth. Um, it's just an initial check-in, make sure everybody is doing okay. They will uh, also have another check-in with the, with the flight surgeon once they are on board that recovery vessel uh, that you see there in the back. Sure that no more uh, hypergolic fumes or vapors uh, come out from the spacecraft. They'll also place harnessing around the spacecraft that are required. 